the bottom of the screen with another video review. And on today's episode, again, thanks to the folks at Toink, we're going to be taking a look at the new Sales One Black Panther Necklace Prop Replica. Now, you remember last year, uh, I did the review of the uh, Kamoyo Beats, which is a terrific piece. I love it. It still has a very special place on my collection shelf. I'm going to put that on for this review. To follow that up, we got a companion piece this year. You can see you got the Comic-Con 50 year anniversary sticker right down there. You got an absolutely gorgeous foil image of Black Panther on this really nice heavy duty kind of jeweler's box. You spin around to the back, you see it's an officially licensed product by Marvel and you got the uh, sales one right down there. Also does have a warning, you could choke on this. So be careful. Then you open this up just like so and I've already taken it out of, of the little wraps right here, but here you have it. You got Black Panther right there, the Black Panther claw necklace. Uh, it does come with a certificate of authenticity that says this document certifies this T'Challa claw necklace as an authentic Marvel Black Panther necklace. This necklace is an officially licensed Marvel piece of jewelry manufactured by Licensee Sales One. And then you got that nice tribal pattern going around the side with uh, Black Panther's head right there. So that's really nice to have. And then again, you got the Black Panther and then you got his face right there. This section lifts up, and I know it looks pretty small from this point of view, but then you come around to the back, and there's a lot more with this. Uh, the only downside, and literally it, it, it is the only downside, is uh, <laughs> just how big this is and how you really do um, have a hard time displaying this because, well, I know I don't have, I'm, I think I'm holding it backwards here, uh, I don't have a, like, mannequin head that I can uh, display this on. But this is really very cool. You got a very nice rope, uh, kind of feels nylon-ish, maybe rubber-ish, uh, it's hard to tell. But then all the little claws, as you can see, have an absolute gorgeous reflective metal surface that, as you can also hear, is metal. Uh, you do have this section right up here with the little uh, Marvel tag thing, and then this little piece right here, maybe uh, as like an extension bit, I'm not entirely sure, but you uh, have a little hook right here, and you can do that. Yeah, I guess that could be kind of an extension of sorts. Um, maybe doing something like that with it. Uh, if you really had a big neck and you wanted to fully uh, bring that out. But I, I absolutely love it. It's very simple. It, it just looks really good. And one thing is that it actually does drape on your neck fairly decently. Um, which means people are probably going to want me to show that off. So I guess I could do that, right? Why not? Let me get this. I'm going to play with this. and. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do with this little uh, ball section, but now that I have that ball section there, I'm going to take it off. So let's do this. Let's put this on here, and I will show you how I look as the Black Panther. All right, so here we are. This is I don't know how we're actually going to see this because uh, I just literally picked up my camera and reversed it. Uh, I still got my, my beads on. Uh, but you can see... It does drape very, very nicely. One thing that's really cool is it actually stays placed. So like moving around and everything, this stays placed pretty decently to really, I, I wanna, I'm trying to show it as much as possible. So it stays out in the position it's supposed to, which is really very nice. I'm happy with how that is. The, the weight really does help to keep it. So like, I'm like, even when I'm flopping around, you can see that it stays where it's supposed to, which is fantastic. Absolutely terrific piece. Uh, uh, again, I am a huge prop replica fan, so things like this really do appeal to me. Now, while I said this was picked up at San Diego Comic-Con, one thing that I will say is that it is available right now on the Toink website. And I think, if I remember right, it's only $45, which I feel is a really good price. Like I said, metal, good quality rope here, and it looks very, very cool. Literally, like I said, the only thing missing in this is a mannequin head or something to kind of display it. But as it is, this actually kind of looks cool. I mean, and you could still pick this up on the Toink website as well. Uh, you could, you know, set that up as like a display. I mean, that... <laughs> That actually looks kind of cool like that. So that literally might be how I display this 
uh, going forward in. I'm gonna put it, yeah, we'll go like that so you can see it. That that really does look cool. So if either of these pieces are ones that you would like to add to your collection, I would absolutely recommend them. So for that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to Toynch website and you can check out availability on the necklace as well as maybe even the bracelet. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it, guys, if you would do one small thing for me, and that is to hit that thumbs up button. That one very small gesture, which literally takes a half a second to do, really does go a long way towards helping me out, and I would really appreciate it. Also, I want to send a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. I'd also like to send out a huge thank you again to the folks over at Toink for helping to make this review possible. And finally, remember, grow wise, grow strong, but never grow up. Thank you for watching. I love you 3000.